So we're over here at the house working on our sheetrock and we've already fixed a lot of it. You can see a lot of the corners have already been taped and bedded, the ceiling has been painted and we're working our way through the house on fixing everything. Now the situation we have is we live in Texas and foundations go bad when you live in Texas, so you have to get your foundation fixed. And what happens is you get cracks in the walls, um, the ceiling and the walls separate from each other, and a lot of times when they fix the foundation, they don't go back super tight. And sometimes you end up with pretty big gaps that you gotta fill. So when you fill those, the, naturally the first thing you're gonna think of is I'm gonna use uh, tape and bedding mud to fill those gaps, and then I'll come back and I'll put tape and bed on them and blah 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 it's done. Well that ain't how it works. Because what happens is the mud, the tape and bed mud, it actually uh, shrinks and crackles and it doesn't stick and it won't stay in place and then pretty soon, sooner or later, it's going to shred apart and the only thing you got up there is a piece of paper holding the gap about that big together and the next time somebody goes to paint it, uh, that might be you, let's say, uh, the paper's going to break and then you got to go through all that hassle again. So I'm going to show you what I use to fix these uh, god-awful gaps when the wall and the ceiling separate and you don't want to use mud because of the reasons I just told you. So here we go. Let's get up on the ladder and show you the easy and simple way of fixing giant cracks and gaps between the wall and the ceiling of your house after your foundation has been fixed. So as you can see we're getting closer and closer to it as we climb up and you can see that I've already started fixing that but I want you to take a good look at this gap right here and you can see how big it is. Very very big. The wall has separated from the ceiling and it's not looking good. So what we're going to do to fix that is we are actually going to put liquid nail in there. But we're not going to use any old liquid nail. The liquid nail we're going to use is a super, super heavy duty uh, rock hard uh, liquid nail that will never shrink and it will glue the two pieces together and become one. And the brand I'm talking about is right there. Go ahead and read that if you can get the name. The PL Pro Line, three times stronger. Once this is applied to the gap in between the wall and the ceiling, um, it will stay glued together for many, many years until the foundation decides to start separating and cracking and peeling again. So it's made by Loctite. I don't usually advertise, but on this situation right here, we're going to have to advertise. There's no way out of it and uh, to get it done and do it right. So you will know how to do it. So all we're going to do is take our caulking gun with our glue and as I am squirting it in, I'm going to push it in as I go down because I want it to get in there as far as I can. And then we'll come over here, do the same thing. You can already see where I started doing it. And I'm pushing it in and letting it squeeze itself out. We're going to clean that up in a minute. And then there's a big gap right here. Go ahead and push that in there. And then we'll basically go to nothing on that one, just like that. And then once we got it glued in, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my finger, and you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to clean the edge off, and I'm pushing it in using my finger to clean off the wall. And then we had some very serious problems. This crack was all the way over there. So I'm just going to take it, and it's just going to be like just caulking in our bathtub. That's what we're doing here. We're going to make sure that the glue stays in there and we're just going to keep cleaning it off until we got a nice edge that we'll be able to use. You can see how I'm cleaning the wall off and then I'm running my finger down to get all the glue off of the wall itself. I see right here where there's a little bit of a hole, so what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to go ahead and take my caulking gun one more time, and I'm going to push that glue in there. I want to push it in to it, see, just like that. 
and then I'll clean that off one more time and you can see now it looks a lot better. We'll clean the wall off and now our gap is filled in. We'll let that dry overnight and we'll come back and we will go ahead and tape and bed that section or that corner right there and it will look great. So that's a little tech tip from my friend Pete when you're repairing your house, whether you're trying to sell it or fix it up to keep, that is one good situation right there using liquid nail to fill the gaps in instead of relying on trying to use mud. A lot of people would use um, caulking, bathtub caulk. Bathtub caulk's the worst thing you can use for that, so there you go. One more time in there, and I think we are done. All right. Okay, how does that look to you? Looks good. Huh? Looks good. We got one more end. I think we have to do that other end over there once you get that wallpaper off. Yeah. Yeah. One more thing I found out um, in the state of Texas when you get wallpaper put in your house, they don't tape and bed the corners wherever there's wallpaper. How stupid is that? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Alright, um, tomorrow. I'll come back and tape and bed that in, and you'll never know that that was there, but the situation is it's fixed the right way, and it only took, what, 10 minutes to do it? Yeah. All right. Look what we got up here. Cobweb? No. You got to finish your job before you oh, get up there. take the, yeah. Get that wallpaper off. We got to, there's some up in the corner up there where we, yeah, that beam is. Yeah, I see that. And then once that's done, then we can caulk that corner in and get her done. Okay.